really, really love riding hard on the TT bike. It's something I really enjoy. The first 5k, I probably took it out fairly hard because I wanted to be able to catch those girls as quickly as possible. races you know the obvious favorite and so many titles do, do you feel that pressure or do you embrace it uh, I felt it a bit out there on the course um, I guess you know I, I was really just trying to focus on myself but it is hard not to let those thoughts creep into your mind um, there was a few low points out in the course where I just I don't know I didn't really think that maybe it would happen today but um, I'm glad that I could kind of turn that around think about this race and what it means to me and, and the title. You know, I just had to rely on the run in the end and I'm really happy that I could um, yeah, get hold my legs together and come away with the win. When you uh, caught Nat, she said that you gave a bit of a tap on the back and a bit of encouragement. What, what actually goes through your mind in terms of tactics? Do you want to blow past them a little bit and show that you are strong and in control of the race? or? Yeah, well I guess um, the first 5k I probably took it out fairly hard because I wanted to be able to catch those girls as quickly as possible. Um, and when I saw Nat, I did give her a bit of a pat on the bum and a bit of encouragement because, you know, I saw her in the turnaround. She was working hard. Um, I'm pretty sure she led that whole bike and I was leading the whole bike in, in the chase group so I know what it feels like to be doing, doing all the work and I was really happy for her. She was racing super strong and... Well huge congratulations, great to see you back on the podium again and just uh, what's next for you? Um, a break. Yeah, <laughs> uh, big year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, first thing I thought of when I crossed the line to be honest. <laughs> how, how much shit have you been given about that? all this week but I'm a pretty like light-hearted person I just kind of laugh it off and and I was saying I just want to make a bit of a statement and change people's minds and what I can do and I think I think I did that so hopefully people can remind remember me for something different this year <laughs> it's true they'll remember you as a hard-ass biker it was really good to see you smashing out there now now on the run at what point did you hear Ash coming and and what's your response when she comes up to you um I, I by the turnaround I saw her just behind me and I thought oh I think she's got me today, but she kind of gave me a bit of a tap in the back. She's like, come on, Nat, keep strong. And I thought, you can do this. And I, I really appreciate that. Well, still finishing a strong second. It's got to give you a lot of confidence for the uh, half iron distance races that you got coming up. Uh, yeah, it, it really does. Um, it's obviously quite a bit different. You have to run a little bit slower. But uh, yeah, it, I've been running quite well lately, especially off a TT bike. And uh, I just yeah. had to have confidence in what I could do. So yeah, I'm really pleased. You've got to be pretty happy with the end of the year. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the past couple of months have been really fun and um, finished pretty strongly. So to come through here today, I'm really happy. Natalie and Ash were just so strong out there. So I was no competition for them, but to hang on to third, I was happy with that. And then when you're surrounded by, you know, some strong athletes, I guess, ahead of you in that front pack and then in your pack, when you come out of transition, what's going through your head? Um, you know, I knew there was quite a few girls in the front who I could run faster than, so I actually just wanted to run as hard as I could for the first half, try and catch them and um, try and hold on towards the end of that, um, and that's sort of what I did, but that last couple of K was so painful. <laughs> um, I've actually got another race in uh, Hamilton Island oh, yes. in a few weeks. And then I've really thrown myself in the deep end and I'm doing ITU World Cross Championships in about three weeks. So I've got to get home and get on my mountain bike because I'm not super prepared right now. Just shut your eyes and just see what happens. Yeah, I'll, I think I'll have to give that a go. <laughs> Thanks so much, uh, great to see you smiling on the podium again. Thank you. Thank you.